Right, I've got my fingers ready, and hopefully we can able to do this as a better run-through of the forms of Melon Frolly. So, hopefully, not too much any, um, impatience going on here, and there we go! Whew! Second time, second time the better. But there we go, at least we can get ourselves some of these couple of mushrooms back at least. But, even then, we'll never know until we're able to actually just get back into the forms of um, business, shall we? So, alright, great, great way to start with this quest. Uh, uh, probably not gonna go there, but I might as well land here. To go seven, that's actually pretty good. Vending machines, nah. Which is only trying to get into the actual, uh, the actual item shop, which is usually over there. I think what we're trying to do here is the fact that we need to get ourselves ring. Because even then, though, with the ring, that, uh, you know, Bowser always mentions the ring itself. So, that's one item we do need to get, though. So, how far am I at? Um... Oh, not far from here, though. Just somewhere far from between the two. Okay. <coughs> So, a few things I want to mention about this before I start to, start to be doing this quest. Um, recently, that we've only got about two more weeks left until the E3 Nintendo E3 2018 Direct. So, still I'm really looking forward to it. And even then, we've gone so close towards the end of um, that specific um, countdown. Not just for the actual Nintendo E3 2018 Direct, but also we're hopefully trying to finish up with this particular game as well. And of course, I'll be showing off some extra stuff for how this game offers. So even then, though, just like in how it does new forms of, um, you know, Mario Party Island Tour, Mario Party 9, Mario Party 10, Mario Party Star Rush, and recently, Mario Party The Top 100. So, and also the same applies to Mario Party 2 as well, but not by much in comparison. And also, we like to be able to actually do a redo Let's Plays of uh, Mario Parties 1 through 8. Well, to be more specifically, Mario Party 1, 3, 4, 5, and 6, and 7, and 8. But, um, oh yeah, I totally forgot about Mario Party DS. I totally forgot about that. But, um, since even then, though, we actually did manage to showcase off extra stuff, how all the extra modes, rather, in Mario Party DS, except multiplayer options. God damn it! Oh, I didn't do that right. I think it's probably because my momentum screwed me up. Even how floaty that was. What if you jump in mid air? Oh, jeez. Well, there goes my uh, successful attempt on that uh, specific um, bill bounce, trying to do a little bit of a chain reaction, so, oh well. But at least we can able to actually hopefully go for a bit, trying to able to actually attempt to do the special mushroom challenge eventually, though, so. Okay, so six. Will be any better? Uh, no, not yet though, so... But hey, at least we made it to the actual pipe room, at least. Or the pipe house, as what it says. And able to head back into the pink pipe until we're able to actually get this quest finished. Although, to be fair, we got ourselves our minigame to deal with right there first. Before we actually do anything, so, of course, we get interrupted by the, uh... You know, the minigame challenge we have to deal with right there, so... Fling shot. Slingshot, I'll take it, because even then, no, that minigame could go off pretty quick. At least as far as I was thinking about it, though, anyway. Oh, I have to do this really, really awkwardly, trying to alternate it between B and A. See, it's not as easy as it looks, compared to it does any forms of uh, mashing the A and B buttons all together, any forms of Mecha Marathon for both Mario Party 2 and the Top 100. But that's how it is for me, though, so... Oh, God, I keep on missing those tornadoes, but uh, at least we managed to be able to get this, though, so... Piece of cake always well. Oh, yeah, I should probably mention about this, actually, since if you're a brony out there, or even a My Little Pony Friendship is Magic fan like I still do, I've recently managed to watch myself, uh, you know, episode 11 of the forms of season 8, and so far... Spike the Dragon now got himself his wing, so I was like, I was really impressed about this. But even then, though, we've only uh, got about two more episodes left before we actually stop into that point in the second, or the, no, the first half of Season 8. So, looks like we're going pretty close towards the, uh, the end of the halfway point in the forms of Season 8 so far. So yes, that's why I need to probably suggest by this point, so yeah. Okay, so we got ourselves Peek and Sneak, we got ourselves the next minigame here. Sneak past the mini bowsers before time is up. So how many mini bowsers do we have to bypass? 43. That's quite a lot of mini bowsers, but we can still accept this challenge. 
sneak by the mini bowsers when they aren't looking. So press the left and right directional pads to maneuver every character, depends on what characters you select, and press B to dash. Unless if you actually decide to run fast enough, if you don't want to get caught by this. So we're going on to Metal Gear Solid, um, Solid Snake Syndrome, where you have to sneak bypass those mini bowsers. But if you get caught, then chances are we have to redo the entire minigame again, so... I kind of like this minigame, actually, because even then, though, it just feels like, oh yeah, every time you bypass every single uh, mini bowsers is well enough, then you would able to actually expand your time limit going on here. But even then, you still got plenty of time to be able to bypass those mini bowsers no matter what, though. I kind of wish there was a challenge to it, but it forms the part of the fact that um, the timer won't expand it for quite some time, because you still got, like, 99 seconds to your disposal, unless if you run fast enough, like I do here. Although you're gonna have to take yourself easy though, because even then though, if you accidentally manage to, um, you know, hold down the run button by complete accident, if you manage to let those mini bowsers, uh, caught right up against with you, uh, you got to, again, redo the entire minigame again, so... That's pretty obvious with this solution going on right there, so even then though, that's, um, you know, it's not too shabby right there. <clears throat> And if you're probably wondering, I just, uh, got something in my throat there, it's because I, uh, managed to eat my, um, tons of food right there, so even then, oh, there we go. Thank god I did not get caught by the last mini bowser right there, but if I get caught by that particular mini bowser, the red one, um, I can simply just able to actually redo, redo, rather, of that specific minigame I have to deal with right there, so there we go. So, give me my gadget right there, so let's see what gadgets that we've got. Shroom Bloom. That could be something worth mentioning until whenever I show you guys the, um, the gadget showcase, but even then, uh, we'll see what happens there, so, yeah, not bad. Not bad for that mini game of an orb, it's just a little bit too much of a busy work, so... Oh yeah, now that I think about it, we actually unlock something for once. In the actual pipe house itself, so let's see how this goes. You'll finish 35 quests? Bah! So yes, we only got 15 quests left before we finish up with the forms of Shroom City, so... We've actually unlocked ourselves the orange pipe, so this mini- uh, this pipe, rather, is more likely involved around chance. Okay then, so that makes it a little bit of a- kind of a good thing or a bad thing? It could be a bad thing because of how luck-based chances can be, so even then, I will just have to, uh, get this over with, shall we? Alright. So, let's go ahead and enter here. I think this might be actually be the last uh, Bowser challenge we'll do for the for the time being, because there are some other quests that needs to be done though. So even then, though, let's go ahead and enter the Bowser game hall. It's got these little pretty little uh, pretty little uh, sparkling lights on this little volcanic magma. Um, it dropped of the volcano in the background. I see that. That's right. Game King. Not to be confused as the forms of Game King, but without 53 number on next to it, because that's the forms of, um, the YouTube channel of mine back in during the likes of, uh, well, at least I usually managed to become a big fan of, oh yeah, because I was watched them, a gambling minigame, find Cooper Trooper three times in a row, so, this might actually be the final gambling game we have to go for this point, so thank goodness for that. Keep your eye on the pipe Cooper's hiding in. Don't lose track or you lose. So, change coins by simply we need to able to uh, press the directional pad up or down and then pick the pipe between left or right with the directional pad and press A to confirm it. So, let's get into this. Oh, I see. It's basically it's very, uh, it feels it feels exactly like how it does in the forms of the shell mini uh, the shell game rather in the forms of Mario Party One. Let's just go ahead and do two two coins because I can't bet for anything else. So there we go. That goes one. And do we able to actually get ourselves? Oh, I have to press the A button before I able to actually do this. Um, obviously on the left side. And let's see on the third and final round then, because obviously it still says, like, find Cooper Trooper three times, so... You're still on the left side! Jeez, can you change the actual placements for that matter? Oh well, at least I'll take it for the win. And as you expected, we've got about 44 coins to our disposal right there. Pretty cool, actually, considering how the fact that we can able to actually just, uh, you know, get this stuff done and then, you know... Alright, so let's see what gadgets that we've got this time around, though. It looks like we've got... Jewelry Case. 
Might be curious to see how this will turn out to be, but again, I'll show that off until when we actually get to the actual uh, gadget um, showcase for that kind of stuff like this, so... Quest complete, so we've got ourselves like, let's just say, 14 more to go, so hopefully we'll get this done. And of course we got ourselves a mushroom challenge out the way, so let's see what we can do. Okay, barrel peril. It's not too bad though, at least I hope so anyway. So, um, another thing I'd like to discuss upon for this point, folks, is that I've recently managed to pick up myself my brand new DVD I've got, released in UK specifically. And that's the forms of, uh, not Coco, because I'm not exactly ready for that just yet though, but I still really think it's such an amazing film to watch through. But what I've got instead is the forms of Early Man. Sure, the story can be a little bit downgraded, but even then, I kind of wish there's more to it. But apart from that, though, I still really enjoyed it, though, because even then, though, that it just always reminds me like I was watching the, uh, the Wallace and Gromit stuff all over again, except it's all based on a prehistoric times, which is kind of interesting to say the least, but even then, though, we've already, uh, See those prehistoric times ever since, like, you know, the Flintstones and etc. Well, the Flintstones is based off from uh, the actual um, 2D animation cartoon TV series and all that stuff, which, to be honest with you guys, I haven't watched any of those Flintstones during that time period, even when I was young, so... Yeah, let's exit out this orange pipe, and we'll decide to take a break on the forms of the pipe house at the moment, because we can't actually access to that uh, the final pipe we can actually get into at the moment, by the forms of the purple pipe. Unless if we actually decide to able to go through, um, uh, four more quests left before you're able to actually access to it, though. So, hopefully we shouldn't be able to go for this long, though, so... Actually, um... When it comes to the other quests I might do, um, I might as well do the majority of the jungles, except the, um, the last one over there, which actually requires Yoshi to actually get to it. But even then, no, apart from that though, um, aside from actually selecting Yoshi and Peach for the last final two quests that we're gonna be doing, but in forms of the actual, um, you know, that area that I've actually showed you for a few seconds ago, and even Mr. Eye as a result, um, I'm actually save those two for last, and he forms of the final parts of this particular Shroom City, so even then, no, everything else will be just as well. Alright, so, don't know what quest I might go- Oh, don't wanna land on those minor spaces, because that would be really, really bad. Even that's no good. Alright. So far, so good, as far as actually trying to make our way selves from our way for that. Oh, good, so we got ourselves a special mushroom challenge, but please don't even make me go through- we have to go for that one, aren't we? I should have known. I should have known we're going for this mini game at least. So we'll just go ahead and accept it this though. Even though I despise this mini game with huge passion because of how the fact that with the forms of, sure it can be a bit of a challenge at times, but even then, it's just how the fact that you get a lot of knockback and curve, even especially noticeable with the forms of the uh, the giant hitbox sometimes. They just always attempt to screw you over at times. So. so. I think I should probably mention about this actually, is the fact that- Oh, that's okay, I'll get flattened, so even then I should be okay with this. Oh, that should be pretty good, it's way more better than the likes of last time, that's for my circumstances though anyway. Oh, jeez, okay, that's okay, I've got flattened, so... Things should be okay with me, things should be okay. Oh, Christ, oh! Oh, jeez, Louise! Okay, 50 points left, hopefully I'll be close. There we go. Whew! That was pretty close, but hey, we managed to accomplish that, finally, so there we go then. Please give me six mushrooms after several failures notice, so I deserve that. Oh, you deserve it, thank you. Oh, man. Alright, so let's pop over to, uh, Nuki House first, before you're able to actually deal with, uh, Pokey, and especially with the latest quests, so... Yeah, let's go ahead and just listen. Monkey napping. Does that mean we have to solve for everything? Of course. Of course, we got ourselves the Shroom Lock makes a return here. Seriously, we have to come across into a lot of investigation work with the forms of Shroom Lock because, you know, it's almost like based off from Sherlock Holland's. So, yeah, that makes it pretty obvious with this solution right there. So, it looks like he's trying to say how the fact that he was actually, um, his uncle was gone. But it looks like we're gonna have to find him immediately. But it turns out, 
that I am um, after this little dialogue sequence is about to be done and over with. Uh, certainly, yes, I would love to help. Well, usually as far as I'm like, concerned about this, secret code, huh? Alright, so big team fat cats, uh, yeah, got it. I know this code. What it means, what, uh, what this meant, rather, is the fact that we need to get into the actual, um, this particular location there, the launch story, because if you manage to make it all the way over there, and quite frankly, I managed to make it on this one single roll. Thank you, Ted. Thank you, um, for that little, um, high roll I've managed to accomplish with. But there you go, we actually find ourselves, um, well, Minuki, or in this case, the Nuki, rather, so... There we go then, so, not too complicated around here, it's not that far from there, until we actually get into the pedal house at the moment, so, let's see what gadgets that we've accomplished. Mini maze. I do like mazes, but even then though, I need to know what exactly how this will plays out, so, Nuki house is accomplished. Sure enough that, um, the lunch, uh, doi wasn't exactly accomplished yet, because again, we do need to require Yoshi to be able to actually just actually access that specific, um, quest to be able to accomplish with, so... Dance stage! Might be curious to see how this will turn out. In fact, I've normally could have tried to be able to actually go for that- go there earlier, but... I guess not. Jungle Jave. So in this particular, um, quest, we need to simply copy the actual, um, dance pattern against with the, um, um, Hulu. Which, I'm assuming that's what this, uh, particular shy guy's name was. So, board dancing. I'd like to be able to actually ex accept this challenge. Alright, so the only buttons you have to press, though, is the forms of A, B, and directional pad. It doesn't matter what, uh, buttons you press in the forms of the directional pads themselves, so... And as you can see, it's really, really easy though, because if you manage to be able to see this little buttons has been shown up and this little speech bubble for the forms of, um, um, Molu, that, um, you can able to actually just press that at the right time. I'm assuming if you press one button wrong, uh, you have to redo the entire dance sequence again. So, and also means that you also manage to waste your mushroom for your, you know, another go from driving, so... That's no good if you managed to be able to get this wrong, so there we go then. So it's pretty simple and easy if you know what you're doing. So let's see what we've got. Mini bowling. Oh, I don't know, there's a bowling in there. Well, this is when before when uh, Mario Party 8 and Mario Party 9, both of those Mario Party games usually have a bowling mini games to begin with, like the forms of um, Starlight Carnival, or no, um, Star. I keep on forgetting about the forms of the actual thing. Um, Star Carnival Bowling, that's what I meant to say, and the forms of Goomba Bowling in Mario Party 9. Well, both the regular minigame, and especially noticeable in the extra versions as well. And also, the same applies to how it does it in Mario Party, the top 100 as well. Well, usually as far as the actual main purpose of this throughout, so... Klaus Climb, very self ex Sorry, I can't really speak today, folks, because even then, I'm really... Running out of ideas at the moment when it comes to able to actually discuss upon news related stuff, besides we already we've only got about uh two more weeks left until Nintendo E3 2018 uh direct stuff. And it besides from that, we've actually got ourselves thirteen more days left until the uh the Square Enix press conference. See for then I'm really really excited by the forms of, you know, more information is gonna be popping up by the forms of Kingdom Hearts 3 eventually. Which, I was gonna be super proud of that, so... Anyways though, so that does it for now, let's go ahead and head into the pedal house, shall we? A long, I long, yeah, there you, you get the idea. Um, yeah, I'll help you, miss this. Blossom of my heart. So you, pedal guy. Oh yeah, because I can definitely tell with the actual, um... You know, you got flowers all over your forehead, well, usually on the actual head itself, but uh, at least as far as I might as well concerned about that, gladly. So yes, uh, what he's trying to say is the fact that we need to go all the way to the, uh, as far as what he's telling us the clue, about the fact that we're actually going to be able to come across into a butterfly, flower, and blossom, or something like that. This means we have to go all the way to the town area and able to actually get ourselves into the mushroom condor before you're able to come across into flutter so this may actually take a long trip to get to but even then though we'll just have to go with this i do really expect so so cooper crash 
this minigame might take forever though, because even though no, sometimes the um, puzzle minigames attempt to able to drag my uh, patience and all that stuff, but even then no, because of how the fact that I need to be really specific with combo system and all that stuff, but even then no, my combo reaction timing was expired though, so even then no, that makes it pretty um, stimulating parts right there, but even then no, I was hard to cope with this I think, so... Alright, so... I know I feel a little bit too bored at this point, because even then though, that, uh, because, you know, I've run out of ideas, but in forms of news updates and all that stuff, especially when, when it comes to this particular video itself, well, granted though, I'm still looking forward to until the, you know, Nintendo E3 2018, but even then though, yeah. Um, I, I suppose there's actually another thing I'd like to discuss upon for this point, folks, is the fact that I, um, you know there's a, th um, <coughs> excuse me, got something in my throat there, um, how the fact that I've, um, you know, been back in during the likes of 2016 video game collection video, but in forms of Nintendo 3DS game collection video, um, one of those games I actually got at that time is the forms of Super Street Fighter 4 3D Edition, and, um, somehow I managed to be able to actually sell that game every, every once in a while, because the reason being for that is because the 3DS never saw to end, whenever I was, like, really interested with the forms of, um, certain titles, like, you know, Captain Toad Treasure Tracker, and especially noticeable with the forms of WarriorWare Girls, Luigi's Mansion Remake, and especially noticeable in Mario Luigi Bowser's Inside Story. Plus, Bowser Jr.'s journey is going to be on its way in during 2019 or beyond and all that stuff. Which, you know, gradually though, because it's pretty obvious because of the 10th year anniversary of the forms of the original version of Bowser's Inside Story, obviously. Like, you know, that game, or the DS version rather, is almost 10 years old in that time. Amongst that with new Super Mario Bros. Wii, and especially noticeable with Mario and Sonic at the Olympic Winter Games for both uh, Nintendo Wii and Nintendo DS, basically. And, um, I believe that could be also the same applies for um, Sonic and Black Knight as well, at least as far as I'm expecting so. And even the, uh, the new play control um, versions of the forms of Pikmin, Pikmin 2, Mario Power Tennis, and even especially noticeable with the forms of uh, Donkey Kong Jungle Beat and on the N N Nintendo Wii, but even that, that's pretty- Are you kidding me? You gotta be kidding me! <sighs> Seriously. <sighs> this is ridiculous. There's no way I can be able to go to an alternative way, so that means- Um, I can't- I can't refuse to be able to actually redo this entire quest again, so- might as well simply just waste my, um, mushroom there whenever I manage to enter in the pipe room and all that stuff. Yeah, this is kind of annoying to people because every time when you're able to actually get into the actual, um, path blockage and all that stuff, you have to go for the other way and you have to go for the stuff. Like, you can't just, uh, manage to able to use the, um, I don't know, the actual purpose, I suppose. Especially if you want to keep on backtrack to the previous, um, um, segments notice because even then though, that can get pretty obnoxious at points, so... Okay, so real cheap, so we've already played this before, and huzzah! Five seconds to spare. Still pretty easy top-notch minigame though, if I like to say so for myself there. But still, I can't deny by the forms of the expiring luck of the forms of um, some other stuff that used to be happens like this, so... But anyways, we haven't got that far left when it comes to Mushroom Condor right there. In fact, it's almost nearly towards from that side, so let's see if we can able to... Oh, I could potentially try to hope I can land onto... Oh, please tell me I've... Oh, nice. I'll definitely take it. I will definitely take it, so... If I can assume it correctly, that um, normally Flutter is going to be at um, the third floor. Yeah, because it's been a while since I actually touched this game, though, so even then I need to get a lot of usage of the forms of, okay, pedal guys, so... In that way, we can able to actually accomplish that mission, so... Thankfully, as soon as we're able to actually come done with this quest, we don't have to backtrack every once in a while, so that's pretty good to my eyes. So with that being said, though, yeah. It looks like Flutter's in um, a little bit of a nerve-wracking at moment's notice, so look at the time, I've got a jet. So yeah, after we get done with that, then we get ourselves the next gadget, so we've got ourselves a beat machine. So, that could be something I wonder if that could be used for. So we've actually accomplished Pedal House, and thankfully though, as I mentioned this before, 
we don't have to backtrack onto that specific um, section again, so... Really appreciate how, of how these, some of these quests can figure this out, game. Anyway, though. Um, what I suppose I could do, uh, since we've done the majority of the jungles, um, stuff and all that stuff, well, except the noticeable one thing, it has the forms of this area right there, which is the forms of the lunch doy, but again, we need to require Yoshi to be able to actually get to this specific, um, quest. Um, I suppose I could potentially, um, how much quest that we've, um, got left in the town area? I'm assuming we've actually only got ourselves, uh, two more left when it comes to the town area, so, besides one more, when it comes to the seaside area, so... I just want to get that, um, quest done and over with, and talk about this little tradition drag out minigame we got for it again. How many times I played this minigame already? I think that was about roughly six or seven, because that's game pretty repetitive, if you ask me. But, even then, I was hard to go with it, I suppose. I mean, I do like the concept altogether, but every time when I was trying to play through, um, um, Shroom City on my own time on the Game Boy Advance cartridge version, Jesus Christ, I've actually come across into this minigame several, several times. Like, that can get pretty daunting every once in a while. At least to me, though, anyway. Alright. So, we're almost there for the most part, though. Oh, I could get myself boomed down there. Right. as long as we actually get ourselves a combo reaction, then we can expect him to be able to add a lot more time to it. But there we go. Whew. 240. Not too bad of a score there, but, he, but I, at least we can able to actually just uh, cope with this, I suppose, I think. Alright, so still we've got ourselves 11 mushrooms out of the way. Seems like so far, when it comes to the actual run-through of Mario, when it comes to, um, Shroom City itself, still looks pretty strong though. Especially with, oh, don't tell me you have to deal with that. Okay, you're doing a rock, paper, scissors thingy again. There we go. You deserve it, Mini Bowser. You deserve that. I think it's probably because I, uh, wasn't really knowing how what's gonna come up when it comes to the actual, uh, you know, the weakness of the forms of all three of those items, so, hey, uh, at least we can able to actually make our way to Pokey. I think this might actually be the last, um, desert objective we're gonna be doing with right there, so, I'm Pokey, the guardian of the desert. So, what do you want? Mysterious Riddles. Alright then, so this could be a quiz trivia type of syndrome again, but, um, this time around though, we have to solve these riddles here, so... I'm assuming we have to answer about three of those riddles, I think. So yeah, there are three riddles to solve here, so let's answer them. Here, here's my first riddle. What golf... What golfs, parties, and rides on the cards? Obviously Mario, because Mario does a lot of things with spin-off stuff. What has spikes, fiery breath, and a temper? Bowser. And finally, what is green but is related to red? Luigi. Because, you know, Mario is red and Luigi is green, so that's pretty obvious, and it's pure simple for the most part though. Tap Tap Sumo, because that's the next gadget right there, and might be very interesting to see how this will turn out, at least for the most part though anyway. Oh yeah, since I've managed to accomplish uh, 40 quests, that means we've actually unlocked the final pipe. You've done 40 quests, you've almost done. Oh, I have to let you get into the final pipe. So this is the final pipe. Here we go. Crash bang there. So yeah, we actually now actually access to the purple pipe. So, but it wasn't until the final point on the other hand though, because we need to finish up with nine quests left before you're able to actually deal with the true final quest in the game. So, oh boy, this could be a multitasking though, doesn't it? But even then, though, we've already got tw uh, 10 quests left in the forms of the actual Shroom City itself, so... I'm really glad that this is almost done and completely finished and done, so... Okay, warp time, that should be good or bad thing, but please tell me it's gonna be a bad thing. Okay, it could be okay, um, okay idea, because even then, though, we've almost gone towards the, uh... Uh, the pipe house immediately, though, so hey, at least I'll take it, thanks. Even though you were appreciative, appreciative how the fact that you could potentially not gonna let me go onto that stupid uh, mushroom library and all that stuff. Oh, speaking of the devil, I might as well come into us into those when we actually deal with the, uh, this particular quest first. So, into the purple pipe we go. 
And we're getting into the jungle area for this point. And let's see what mini game we have to deal with right there before we do this. Sword stack. I might be curious to see how the fact that how many uh, minor spaces do we have to avoid though. Well, after this mini game is done um, first. Alright. Alright, so let's place the green book here, and place the blue book here, and place, um... Okay. No, I don't want to do that. What I could do, just trying to place it here, and here, and... It's there, and just put it there, and... Oh, what am I doing? Seriously, sometimes this minigame's control scheme can get pretty, um, slippery at times. But even though no, that's the only, uh, oh, guys. Oh, that was really close. I almost, um, jinxed myself when it comes to able to actually get used to what the controls in this minigame though, or perhaps it's mainly because of how my, uh, skills sometimes can get pretty devastating at times, but I digress. Alright, so, how many? Really? Do I have to avoid five mini, uh, minor spaces and all that stuff? But I, uh, thankfully though, we've managed to make it to the Bowser Lab. So something more related to the laboratory? But at least we can able to see how this will turn out. You guessed it, because you know, we always trying to challenge you. Bowser's Stein. What is this, like a Frankenstein from the Halloween um, film or movie? Well, at least except the fact that, yeah. Okay, so the only um, quiz or the actual uh, question to answer for is definitely the forms of um, a scary one. So, yeah, this will really happens if, um, okay, so it looks like it's gonna summon the scariest monster of all. Oh, that's kinda interesting. This particular, um, uh, novel piranha is actually a reference to the forms of Paper Mario for the Nintendo 64. That's, that's the, that's one reference I do like. At least I give this game some credit, though. Cooper Curl. What is this, like, curling? Throw shells to get the highest score. Okay, so we got ourselves the- I'm assuming this might actually be the final door minigame we actually unlock. Throw three shells and score based on where they stop. Bump shells to move them. So aim with the directional pad obviously, and press A to set power, and press R to check the court. Oh, I see, it's basically it's like the, uh, the actual official curling event. But well, except the fact that we're doing with Cooper shells instead of the curling stones. Uh, I should probably mention about this actually, is the fact that um, enjoying the likes of the uh, the game Speedrunner, as far as the actual YouTube channel, uh, that actually questioned about- I've already um, explained to him about the fact that on the forms of Mario Party, the top 100 um, custom music pack mod, uh, I actually did manage to uh, comment it on him about the fact that wh how come there's no uh, Paul Jing 2018 Winter Olympic Games for Mario and Sonic game on the Nintendo Switch. Um, I think the reason being for that is because one of the comments saying about the fact that, that Ubisoft is now taking over with the Olympics, which is really, really disappointing me, honestly. Well, gradually though, because of how the fact that of how Rio 2016, it does it pretty okay, but not as awesome as I hoped it will be. But even then, no, that's as far as you expect it or two, so... I go assuming this minigame will last about two sets, so because of, you know. But I go assuming that if um, one of the um, players get the exact same score as each other, when it comes to N2, uh, they might actually gonna go to the sudden death rounds in the um, N3, as far as you expect or two. So let's go ahead and knock over this red shell really quickly. Still really like the 8 bit rendition of the Mario Party 3 uh, minigame remakes. So, but even then, that's the only good thing about the game, is that the music is very, very good. But, apart from that though, on the other hand though, well, the visuals do look a bit colorful at times, but I will admit though, is that the animation do feels a bit jerky at times. Compared to any other Mario Party games, as a result for this matter though. Even the actual Ubisoft, no, not Ubisoft, Hudson Soft games, if you will. But anyway though. And seems more accurately, we've pretty much dominated it, so let's go ahead and do a gentle throw, because that's the only strategy I always attempt to go for, because that way it should get my scores going. But if I don't do it on the other hand though, it will just potentially make this particular processing a little bit uh, tedious at times, even dragged on at times. But there we go, that concludes uh, Cooper Curl, in this case Cooper Curling, if you will for that say this much.
And we've actually accomplished that. So, as a result, we also managed to beat the likes of, uh, Novel Piranha. Which, we won't see them for the light of day, I'm afraid. Because even then, they'll ever since back into the likes of 2000s in the forms of, well, Magic Lamp? Oh, we got a new gadget based off, um, Aladdin. What is this like? They managed to got that gadget from the Arabian Nights? From the Cave of Wonders? Gee, I wonder how this will can potentially be happening. Or perhaps maybe the, um... The upcoming Disney uh, live action remake of the forms of Aladdin should be about to be happening in the forms of next year. Now, I definitely noticed how the fact that with the forms of Fresh Prince of Bel Air actor with the forms of Will Smith, uh, he's gonna be taking part as the forms of the genie actor, which might be curious to see how this will turn out, but certainly it's gonna be way more better, I was hoping though, anyway. Way more better than the likes of Oscar from, you know, Shark Tale, because Shark Tale's crap. As a matter of fact though, because of how the fact that that film is entirely rip-off of the forms of Finding Nemo, that's for my circumstances. Plus, there are some pretty unnecessary, um, pop culture references in the forms of Shark Tale, not to mention for this throughout. But anyways though, I guess we should probably take a break on the forms of the Pipe House at the moment, so even then though, we got ourselves, like, you know, we've only got nine more quests to go. To be more specifically, eight more left, because of... You know, some of these, um, official quests that we need to do with right from the start. So, let's see what's the next minigame we're gonna be playing with on the spot. So, should be pretty self-explanatory right there.